Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this uh, Mercedes um, C-Class, this is a 2006 W203, I'm going to be changing this hose, this is a breather hose um, and it's very common on this car, I did a video a while ago with my old camera so I thought I'll remake it with a new camera, perhaps get better images. Um, the part number of this is uh, A2710181282. There's another number there as well. 0212097A. Um, now, these hose, there's another two hoses um, as well that can be replaced, but those other two are sitting underneath the supercharger and that is a little bit more complicated to do so um, this is the more common one and I'm gonna be sticking to this one because uh, it really it cracks up here and, and up here and I've replaced quite a lot of this because uh, it triggers an engine light of uh, mixture too lean or too rich one or the other well basically sucking air so it makes the mixture lean I guess um, uh, so I'm gonna start by I am going to disconnect the battery just gonna disconnect the negative side from this end I've got an 11 mil yeah and can disconnect that. I'm also going to be using this tool and this is like a clamp. It clamps basically. It's gonna help us a lot. It's gonna clamp down on the throttle body down there um, on one of the one of the clamps that holds basically all of this in place. But this is gonna save you a lot of time. So I'm going to be using that, it's going to go somewhere in there, and I've got a T25 as well, T25 or T20, yeah, I'm going to use a T25. I'm going to remove that. I'm also going to just uh, disconnect this wiring here. There is another Torx that holds uh, this wiring. It's a T20. Okay, so this gives us room here. Um, you could cut the cable tie here to give you better space for this bolt. Um, this little screw, maybe. Really. Right, and then uh, I'm gonna disconnect this airflow meter. And I'm also going to disconnect this other sensor here. Just getting rid of all that all those cables there. Um, I'm now going to I'm going to use an 8mm to lose um, to loosen these screws basically this one here 
and there will be another one in this hole so I'm going to loosen those two Okay, so now I'm going to use this clamp to clamp the throttle body down there. I'm going to try to focus. Let's see if we can have a better look at what's going on down there. Okay, so I've got the clamp on now and uh, I'm gonna leave it there, that's gonna help us remove this and uh, refit it without any issues. So basically that clamp, it's, if we try to look down there, which is a little bit difficult. Okay, so the tool is clamping. That clamp there. That's, that's, uh, that clamp is on, on the hose, on the intake hose. And uh, it holds um, all this, all this intake here in place. Uh, the reason the, the tool helps a lot is because um, normally you have to try and, and get a long pair of uh, pliers and press that clamp um, and keep it pressed while you fit this on and, and whatnot. But in this case, with this tool, you just press it, get it open and then And then obviously we've released all this wiring and things here. Um, also, this comes out of there. Um, we can then lift this up and it needs to move backwards and then it will come out. And uh, we need to unplug this as well. Just uh, press on the clip on the side and take it out. And that's that whole unit there. Now we can uh, look at that clamp probably a little bit better. Because that's where the intake um, tube goes in, that hose, and uh, and that's the the metal clamp that goes around it that we we can open with that tool. And now the tool remains there, the clamp remains there, and we don't need to do anything else. Now we can concentrate on the hose here. And basically this is the hose that gives the trouble. This hose here. And I can already feel this hose is getting old and a little bit soft. So we're gonna put the new modified one And 
for that, we need to open this clamp here. Get that out. And inside of there, there's another little uh, clip that holds the hose in place. But the one in there is a little bit more fiddly to get out. I'll just try to focus on it a little bit. see it that's the one there so now we need to release that little clamp so we can pull this hose out so I usually get a long pair of pliers and then I try to release release that, that little clamp in there okay that's open and now we will, might be able to use this uh, long nose pliers here Try to get that little clamp out of the way. And also, okay, I can't get the clamp, I'll try to get the hose out. All this is a bit of a, a fiddle, really. The hose is just um, stuck in there. <clears throat> okay, that's the clamp. Now the hose is just uh, in another tube, like the other end. It's just a matter of uh, pulling it out, but they do get a little bit stuck because of heat and other things. Just being a little bit stubborn. There we are. Now this is usually what happens to them. Um, they go, they, they break down here. They start getting really old and they break down at that end. Um, also they do break up here.
so all this area becomes broken and and down here and then that allows air basically and that air <coughs> creates a fold coat so the way I fit the new one um, it's not with this old type of clamp but with one that we can screw in from the side okay so I've got my hose and I've got the new clamp so this clamp here um, it's so basically what I'm going to do first I'm gonna try to get the hose in there which I already put some WD-40 on that hose, on that um, pipe so with the pliers we just need to be sitting on it now just need to make sure it actually goes all the way in so it's sitting at the bottom okay it's just a little bit more And that's in. That is sitting now nicely in there. It is a little bit fiddly, but just make sure you put some grease or something around the pipe, some WD-40, and that will help. That will help it going in. Uh, now again, I will put a little bit of WD-40 on here so I can help this slide this in oh. So the next job is to try to get that clamp in, sitting down. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Jubilee clamp to clamp that hose down there. This is uh, 8, 816, the size is 816. Um, and I'm going to try to slide that down onto the hose Just trying to push it down. I 
I did apply a little bit of uh, WD-40 onto the hose down here just to make it make the Jubilee clip slide in a little bit better so okay the clip is in there now if that can be seen and uh, I'm just trying to get the little the head of the clip to be on one side okay so we can just about see the, uh, the head there and that's because from the side of the intake here I'm gonna go in with this tool and I'm gonna try to tighten that up so I've run out of uh, memory on my camera but I'll try to finish on the phone here so just trying to get that in there and then I can tighten Jubilee clip and we just we don't need to over tighten that at all so just make sure you're not uh, cutting into the into the new hose because obviously the Jubilee clip is a lot easier to tighten that than any other clip so I used the universal joint and the 7 milli that fits the head of the Jubilee clip and, and that's it So I'm happy with that end and now we can, we just need to take the clip out of the old hose. I've got the clip here, get the hose. the new house to that hole there get the clamp in there okay so hose is in in place both ends nicely secured and uh, and now it's just a matter of refitting everything back the way it came out so we have this little rubber mount here where this goes in we just put a little bit of uh, grease or WD-40 it will uh, help to slide that in a lot easier um, another thing that you could um, change while you're 
here it's uh, it's this hose that sometimes also cracks around somewhere around here or here this one is not too bad it's okay but it is getting a little bit old but it's not yet too bad okay so now um, another good idea would be you can apply a little bit of grease or again WD-40 here for refitting this back sorry I just uh, put some W40 there and some on here so this goes so I've only got one hand now trying to hold the phone but basically Refitting this shouldn't be a problem now. Okay, here we are. So you get it back in there. Just make sure this points go into their places, and then you push this towards the front of the car so it clamps in into there so that's going in very easily and it must be the WD-40 so you can't lift this up anymore and now the back of the back here will get, go straight into the To the intake there and because the clamp is open down there you can see a little bit that will just sit in there like so So just make sure uh, it's sitting nicely in. And uh, this is the clamp here. That I can now... Just there. I can now release. But I might need two hands to do that. <laughs> okay, let's put this... And that's it. Clamp is out. Sorry, um, the the tool is out and the clamp is secure. And uh, those two are, I think, the most difficult parts out of this uh, job. Just uh, making sure that clamp uh, doesn't bother you and causes you hours of work and also the jubilee clip that needs to be taken out the hose from here on we just reconnect everything and the last thing will be the battery uh, make sure your ecu is connected first um, and that's pretty much it so i do hope this video helps and um, thank you for watching